I have some extremely intelligent questions about California rice from some very special students that I want to share and discuss with you, as well as open a package that I received from the same students. I've received several comments on YouTube from professors, teachers, and students explaining that they're viewing or showing my episodes of Rice Farming TV in the classroom, which I think is phenomenal. However, I do have a very special relationship with Miss Money's third grade class. Now, if you've been following the Rice Farming TV Facebook page, you'll know that I did a Q&A with Miss Money's class over the winter while I was in Brazil. They emailed me some awesome questions. <laughs> Hey guys, also during the whole Oroville Dam disaster, during the evacuation, Miss Money emailed me a photo of a banner that the students were working on, which conveyed their concern and that they were worried while our family needed to evacuate. So we certainly created this strong uh, bond and relationship over the internet, but eventually I thought that it was time to get Rice Farming TV into the classroom. Hi guys. Do you guys know who I am? Yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. Matthew Slager. Matthew Slager. Yeah, that's me. How are you guys doing? Good. Can I interrupt your class for a little bit? Yes. Hang out with you guys? I mean, man, I cannot believe that reception. You have no idea, guys, how warm and special uh, that made me feel. But uh, let's get straight into the questions. And after we answer the questions, uh, let's open up this package and see what we have from Miss Money's third grade class. Take it away, guys. My question is, how long did it take you to make the uh, field? That's a great yet complicated question, but basically what we do to make the rice field, uh, to prepare it for seeding, that is, we chisel it twice, we then disc it twice, we triplane it, we apply two applications of fertilizer, then we flood the rice field, and then call the crop duster and have the rice seed flown on. And I suppose you could do that within about three weeks to get completely flooded, of course, depending on the size. But great question, thank you. Uh, do you have to sign paperwork on, oh, as soon as you sell it? And, and also, I give you a shout out. Oh, Eddie, this is an intelligent, question. Thank you. Uh, yes, we have to sign all kinds of papers. After harvest, when we deliver the rice to the dryer, we basically get a receipt for all that rice. Therefore, we need to sign the paper saying, yes, that's how many pounds of rice we're leaving at the dryer. And then when we sell the rice, we need to sign a contract saying first that, yes, we have this much rice to sell and that we commit the rice to the buyer. Um, and then, of course, we need to sign the check so we can deposit it into the bank. That's the best part. How big is the rice field? Oh, Vianette, I like this question. So I would say the average rice field is around 150 acres. The smallest rice field that we farm is six acres, and the largest rice field we farm is 170 acres. Good question. Why did you want it to become a YouTuber? Oh, George, great question. I like it. And I also like your name. You know, that's my pops' name. Uh, I wanted to become a YouTuber because I liked the creative outlet. I liked the storytelling aspect. And I also felt that California Rice has a story that hasn't yet really been told on a level like this. Um, so I, it's just really fun for me and really rewarding. It's just, it's just awesome. <laughs> How much rice have you grown? Whoa, Xavier, okay, crazy cool question. I'm going to frame the answer uh, in last year. So how much rice did we grow in 2016? And also I'm gonna give you the answer in pounds, okay? Because the way we measure our yield is in pounds. It's in 100 weights, 100 pound sacks, okay? And usually per acre, we are yielding 100 sacks. Uh, so 100, 100 pound sacks which is 10,000 pounds per acre. 
And if we're farming 1,600 acres, which we did in 2016, that is 16 million pounds of rice in one year. Now, my dad's been farming for a little over 40 years. Imagine how much rice that is. That's crazy. What's your favorite rice? White rice, short grain brown rice, long grain brown rice, or wild rice? Wow, Jamie, I really like it because it's the first question about eating rice and not just farming it. And eating it's the fun part, right? So it really depends on what I'm eating, you know? the different varieties of rice and the different ways that you can mill it, it's actually kind of a diverse food. So if I'm gonna have like barbecued salmon, for example, that's already kind of a healthy meal. I'm gonna want that with brown rice and some vegetables. Uh, if I'm eating sushi, of course, that needs to be white rice. Uh, if I'm eating uh, Thai food or Indian food, I like long grain white rice. Uh, so I like all kinds of rice and it definitely depends on what I'm eating. Great question. How do the lexions work? Whoa, Emmanuel, that is a very technical question. Uh, and man, I could do a whole rice farming TV episode about that. I kind of did in How Rice is Harvested in California. Um, but basically, uh, the reel brings in the rice, it's cut, it lays into conveyor belts, it's fed into the machine. There's a beater drum which kind of knocks it down and helps it feed better. Uh, there's a concave in there that helps separate rice and straw. And basically with elevators and fans, the straw gets blown out the back and the rice gets collected. And eventually once it gets full, the unloading auger can swing out and unload into a bank out so that the harvester can keep cutting. The bank out unloads it as it's cutting and the harvester continues cutting as the bank out leaves the rice field and unloads all that rice into a truck. The truck then gets filled up and takes the rice to the dryer. Then we get a receipt. We sign it, right Eddie? Remember that question? Uh, and then we have a piece of paper after all that hard work. That's basically how Alexion works. Alexion, by the way, is the yellow color harvester. John Deere's the green one. Case is the red one. And we have one yellow one and two green ones. How much pounds of seeds do you need for your whole field? Gabriel, great question. And I kind of mentioned this in the episode of Rice Farming TV titled It's Raining Rice Seeds. And we fly on 165 pounds of rice per acre. And like I kind of went over today, uh, we then turn that into 10,000 pounds per acre uh, during the fall after harvest. So 165 pounds we need to seed a rice field. Great question, Gabriel. Thank you. <music> Helps you with your uh, farming? Oh, this is a cool question because I just love animals and that's why it's really awesome working outdoors. All kinds of animals, but migratory birds help us out a ton. That's like ducks, geese, shorebirds all kinds of different species. And what they'll do is fly in during the winter time when we've chopped up the rice straw that's remaining after harvest and we'll flood the field and help decompose that rice straw. And what the birds will do is they'll come in the field and land, thousands of them. They'll land and they'll step on the straw and the mud and they'll kind of mix it up. And that really helps the decomposition process. So birds are helping us out. Great question. What kind of plants have you seen? Well, I love all types of plants, that's for sure. Uh, however, when I'm in the rice fields, I only want to see one type of plant, and that's the rice plant. However, at home, Clara has a beautiful backyard with a garden, so she's got roses, fruit trees, bushes, an herb garden with some vegetables as well. Very beautiful, and it actually feeds the family as well. So I feel very special about that. Great question. Such great intellectual questions about the production process of rice. When I was there at the classroom, I was fielding 
question after question. I think I was there for two, three hours. It was absolutely amazing. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. Uh, but right now, let's take a look at what we have in this package from Miss Money's third grade class. Oh, I already know what it is. You know what? I'm not even going to unfold it because unfolding it here like this just won't do it justice. So hold on a second. It's the banner. Let's take a closer look. Family, Matthew Sliger, Clara, Elena, and our little house there. And then here's me with my orange beard. And it says, please eat rice. It's good for you. So true. The combine. And look at that. Unloading right into the sack of rice. How awesome is that? Eat rice. It's good for you. Rice farming TV. Watch it on YouTube. There's some water down there. Uh, there's some dirt over there. Miss Money's third grade class. Guys, thank you so much. Also in the envelope was a nice card from Miss Money and some more drawings, which are definitely gonna get shared with Clara and Elena at home. They're gonna love to see these things. Well, I just can't say it enough. Thank you, Miss Money's third, now fourth grade class. And you guys out there, if you have any questions about the rice production process, please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments below. Have a great day. I'm, I just can't tell you uh, how happy I am. Take care.